Hey, what's up everybody? So, several of you guys left YouTube comments on my videos asking me what I do for a living and how I make money and what job I have. And that's kind of tough to answer. Uh, I'm going to get to that near the end of this video, but uh, for the main part of the video, I'm going to talk about how I've made income my entire life. Um, I went back through years of taxes and added up lots of sources of income and I made a pie chart for you guys. Some of the sources are very, very accurate. Some of them are kind of estimates, um, but this is income from my entire life. Here's the pie chart. I'm not going to show you guys the exact numbers, just because I'm kind of uncomfortable doing that, and just for various reasons, I'm not going to show you the exact number I made for each job. But I'm going to show you this percentage, so maybe you can kind of estimate just using the hints I give out during the video. So this is sorted from the highest paying to the lowest paying. So the highest paying source of income I have is making iPhone apps. And so what I basically did here was instead of focusing on quality apps, I sort of focused on quantity. I think I had about a hundred apps in the app store at the peak. Um, like I made really simple games and I kind of leached off of stuff that was already popular. Like I had a Justin Bieber game because he was really popular. I had like a Miley Cyrus game, a Taylor Swift game, a Donald Trump game, which I talked about in another video, or I had cheat cheat apps. You know, Grand Theft Auto is very popular, so I had an app that just listed cheats for how to beat Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. I listed like tips and tricks on how to beat Call of Duty and how to get you know the best scores. And I just charged a dollar per app. Apple gives you seventy percent of what people pay, so this was my biggest source of income. Um, when I graduated college in two thousand eleven. I had over $80,000 in debt, and because of this, I was able to pay all that debt back and um, just set aside a little bit of money um, to start living off of. Um, when I started John Drake's Water, I was actually in my parents' house in episode one. That's my parents' house, and that's when I was making the iPhone apps. Um, and because of the extra money I made, I was able to move out, paying rent because of that. So that's what that was. Next up, the second highest source of income is YouTube ads. You guys pretty much know what that is. It's self-explanatory. I showed you guys a video on how much money I'm currently making, but in the past, I was making, you know, significantly more from YouTube ads. Um, I had several videos go kind of viral get a couple million views on a different channel um, like I had this one YouTube video that was the longest video on YouTube it got several million views and the video itself had many ads inside of it so when people would click through the video they would see many ads and so I made a bunch of money off of that um, I'm not making much off of YouTube anymore just like two or three dollars a day basically. Uh, the third highest source of income was publishing books. Um, I used a website called createspace.com. They let you self-publish books and then they list those books on Amazon. So these books are basically garbage. I just published them really quickly, as quickly as I could. They're not good books. You should not buy them. You should, they're not good at all. I think one of them is a book of baby names. So the entire book is just a list of names. Another book is a version of the Bible I published. It's um, just a version of the Bible. I changed a couple words here and there. And so how I made money from this was... I sold these books to libraries, like I, ch I listed them at a very high price, and then I requested them at libraries all around the world, <clears throat> and 
and so libraries bought these books um, and that's how I made money doing that and eventually uh, create space shut down my account so I'm no longer doing that I should also mention when I was doing the iPhone apps Apple also shut down my account because my apps were nice they were not very good quality and because I mean they didn't really give me a specific reason why they shut my to shut down my account but I'm assuming it's because the apps were not very good quality and I also rated my apps five stars a couple times um, so I'm assuming that might have part to do with it also and so getting back to the self-publishing books they also closed my account with create space so I've, I kind of have a history of being banned from websites fourth place is selling stuff on eBay and Craigslist and Amazon um, sometimes I just you know find stuff in the trash when I was in college my IT department would like my IT department had this huge dumpster they would always throw out like entire computers and like you know lots of monitors and all kinds of stuff and I always find like in my back alley people always throw away furniture and so I just resell that stuff on Amazon eBay and Craigslist um, so this this one was kind of hard to calculate the exact amount because sometimes I buy stuff and then resell it so it's difficult to calculate if that's income or not because I'm sometimes I sell it at a loss so it's not really income number five is Walmart I worked at Walmart for two different years uh, it was two it was like a two separate jobs I left for a while then came back the first year I was in the photo department and I just developed photos for people um, self-explanatory and then the second year I did overnight maintenance which is just mopping floors and picking up trash and just making sure the store is clean overnight uh, that was kind of a weird job because it's overnight <laughs> like the store is completely empty and just quiet and um, I was actually in really good shape <laughs> at the end of the maintenance job because just walking around for like eight hours straight just mopping up stuff just constantly moving around and um, <laughs> it's depressing to say that but that was one of the um, most physical jobs I've ever had <laughs> next up is an ATM thing I did I talked about that in a Tech Thursday video I explained how I did that you can also see an ATM behind me in one of the episodes of John Drinks Water. It's just a little scam I did. I kind of found a loophole in the banking system. I was able to make money off of that. Next up is Staples. Staples used to have this recycling program for ink cartridges. So I would buy ink cartridges on eBay, like hundreds and thousands of ink cartridges. And then Staples gave you a three dollar gift card for every ink cartridge you recycled so I would get gift cards from Staples and then resell the gift cards and I made kind of a, a good amount of money pretty easily doing that but they, they changed the program to make what I was doing not possible anymore next up is gifts this is just Christmas and birthday and you know gifts from relatives mostly um, one time when I was 12 years old, my uncle gave me and my brother and sister each $300. Um, $300 is not a ton of money, but to a thir to a 12 and 13 year old, $300 is a lot of money. Like that lasted me like, you know, more than a year, basically like to a, to a 12 year old in the past also adjusted for inflation. That's even more back then. Um, so this is kind of an estimate of just how much I've made just from gifts from family. Um, <clears throat> next up is construction jobs and mowing lawns. My father is a landlord. When I was a kid, I used to work for him to make money. He would pay me, you know, four, five dollars an hour. Not not a ton of money, but 
That's how I made money as a kid. And, you know, mowing lawns, painting, shoveling snow, doing roof work, installing drywall, installing carpets. Just, um, you know, basic stuff that, that a kid can be taught to do. Like, I didn't do any plumbing or electrical work back then. But I did learn a lot doing that, so it was kind of more... Not just the money, um, but it was a good experience too, learning how to do a lot of stuff. Next up is jobs I had at my university. I was a student teacher for a while at my university. I um, also produced a TV show for the university, and I did a couple other just various jobs at the university I went to, and they paid basically minimum wage. That's what I did there. Next up is oh, selling the video rights to videos I've made. I've been on TV a couple times. Uh, like I was on Tosh.0. Oh, I was on the BBC. And sometimes they give you a royalty fee to use your videos on TV. And that's just all those royalties uh, combined. And sometimes they pay a separate fee for interviews, and I included that. Next up is just other. This is just various other jobs, which I'm not going to go into because it's just a wide variety. Next up is TV and film production. I went to school, I went to college for video and film production, so it's kind of depressing how low this is on the list. But sometimes I help shoot weddings, sometimes I you know, shoot commercials and... Uh, just, you know, little jobs here and there. I, I worked on the film Abduction that was shot in Pittsburgh. And next up is Donating Plasma. <clears throat> I started doing that last December, and I've been doing that a lot recently. Um, looking at the chart, it's making me realize how little I'm making by doing that, but they pay between 20 and $80 per donation. So it kind of goes up and down depending on the week. Next up is telemarketing. I worked in a call center for a little bit, just calling person after person after person. I really hated this job because um, I knew I was annoying everyone I called and we were just asking for money basically. We didn't really provide them a service. So I didn't really like that job. Next up is event security. <clears throat> um, this is doing security work at events around Pittsburgh, like Steelers games and the marathon and um, high school football games sometimes, um, Penguins games also sometimes. And it's kind of using a security wand and um, making sure people don't have guns and weapons on them when they enter the stadium and the event. So this is how I've made money my entire life, all combined. So right now, I don't really have a real job. Right now, my main source of income is this security thing that I do. And to donating plasma. Those are my two main things. And, you know, I guess I'm doing a little bit of Craigslist right now on eBay and a little bit of film production here and there. But I don't really have a steady income right now. I'm kind of just living off of money I made in the past. Um, it costs very little for me to live off of right now, so it's not really an issue. But I have been applying for jobs basically this entire year. Um, so that's it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching.